And welcome back guys to episode 6 of my FTL Let's Play, the game of Space Adventure. Uh, as always, this is your host Gord, and uh, yeah, so if you're watching the last episode, we uh, cruised around one of the sectors, got into this, this new Mantis controlled sector, and uh, we picked up an extra crew member, Matt over here, and Matt will be our security officer from now on. He's going to fight off any intruders that come in, probably with the help of uh, our buddy Scoops over here. The two Mantis guys. I think they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're Mantis, yeah. They're, uh, they're going to kick ass of anyone who comes on board. So cool. Uh, so, okay, without further ado, let's uh, continue on our adventure. Alright, uh, the Rebels are definitely gaining some ground here. Um, let's take a look at what we can do here. Let's let's head here first and maybe get the distress call and then jump around a bit more around. Let's, let's take care of that first there. Alright. A settlement still loyal to the Federation hails your ship. They've prepared a weapon to aid in your escape from the re rebels. Let's see. 24 scrap and a halberd beam. Cool. Halberd beam. Let's take a look at that. Uh, slow but reliable, uh, but, uh, powerful standard beam weapon. So the beam is reduced for one every shield that passes through, which allows for partial shield piercing. So, what that means basically is it does two damage per room, so if they only have one shield, it'll still do, it'll pass through the, the shield and do one damage per room. But if they have two shields, it's useless, so... For now, uh, it requires three power. I probably won't equip it right away. Uh, there's a lot of things I need to put power to. I need to buy more power for my drones and whatnot. Speaking of which, I actually might do that now. Uh, bam, bam. So now I can have my drones power too. So that's cool. Okay, let's uh, let's make another jump then. Uh, let's hit up this distress beacon. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help! We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders! So we can uh, send the crew to help immediately. Giant alien spiders are no joke, or we can leave them alone. Um, I've actually encountered this scenario in a previous Let's Play. Uh, well, not a Let's Play because I wasn't recording, but... I've tended to lose crew members on these types of objectives, so... Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave them alone because I, I got—I don't want to lose anybody. I mean, I do have an extra crew member, but I can't risk fighting some unknown alien on every backwater station I come across. <laughs> so, just like they said. All right, so let's uh, jump around, jump up and up and get down. <laughs> Rebel ship is guarding this beacon. You order a pursuit course and prepare to scratch up one more. All right. Um, uh, it doesn't look like they have any missiles, so I'm not going to use my defense drone. Uh, let's just get rid get charging our weapons and let's uh, go for the shields. I'm not too too worried about the weapons they have. It looks to me like just lasers, yeah. <laughs> So. Cool. Couldn't have done that better. And their shield room's on fire. Oh, they're powering up their FTL drives and trying to escape. So let's uh let's take care of these mofos. Let's knock out the shield. I mean their engines. And that should also kill them in the process. You have clearly bested us, we merely request our lives. Ha, <laughs> yeah right. Bye bye. So we got two fuel, two missiles, and 42 scrap. Cool. Um... Let's try and let's get this one since uh, it's soon to be overrun. There's nothing here but spaces, this debris, and some uninhabitable, uninhabitable planetoids. 
and a dude who can't speak English. That's me. <laughs> All right, so that one it's just on the border of being overrun. So let's uh, let's get that one. You hear a grating rattle and a soft clicking. You reach for your pistol. Intruders detected. No. Oh, there's four of them. Shit. So Charlie's cool and all, but. He's a slow mover. I'm gonna get him out of there, and I'm gonna send my two mantis guys in here. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Charlie in there, and help my, have my two mantis guys kind of help him out. But holy shit, is Charlie taking some damage? So I'm gonna get him out of there. Holy shit, Scoop's taking some damage too. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm pulling my men out of there. Everyone retreat to med bay. We're gonna suck them out the airlock. Ha 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 ha, try and escape. Ha ha. Oh, they escaped. <laughs> okay. But now they're split up a little better, so let's um let us let's let's let our guys do a little more um They're trying their damnedest to get out of there. Let's um let's send our two mantis crew member to go oh, I can't select them like that. Okay, that's Let's send our two mantis crew member in to fight those two guys. And let's send you and you in there to fight those guys. Okay, these guys did their job. Okay, I'm gonna close these airlocks back up. And uh send you guys in here to help out with those two guys. Maybe it's taking some damage, but hopefully they will die. Yeah, they died. Okay, cool. So let's uh, let's get you three back in there to start with, because I only got three slots in my med bay. Let's get Matt. Let's get him all prepped up and ready to head in there. As soon as Scoops is healed, we'll get him out of there and we'll put him back to his post, and we'll swap him out for Matt. All right, now that Matt's healed up, put him back to our no, he's a security officer. Charlie's healed up, we'll send him back to his post, and Maria will send him back to her post. Okay, so took care of those intruders, no problem. They took uh, quite a bit of damage just from no oxygen, which is always cool. So let's uh let's jump to the next spot. Oh, everywhere's being overrun except for just about the exit, so let's head to the exit. You arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Debris from a, f a battle is scattered throughout the system. A few pieces bounce against your ship. You passively scan them and discover there is a functioning weapon among them. Uh, 25 scrap and a breach bomb mark two. Oh, I forget what that is. Let's see. That is a uh, slower than mark one, but breaches and does more damage to the systems. Can target your own ship. I believe this is a teleporting kind of thing. It, uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm fairly certain that it kind of teleports inside. So I'm going to swap that out for the uh, heavy ion cannon. Because uh, it's got a high chance to breach. It does a good amount of personnel damage, and system damage. And it only requires one missile, so yeah. Let me equip that. Okie dokie. And then we'll jump. So next sector, guys. Ooh, let's see what we got. Okay, I can go to a slug-controlled nebula. Nebulas are always a pain in the ass. Or I can go to a rock-controlled sector. Now, I kind of want to... I, I want to go to the rock-controlled sector, but just because it doesn't have nebula in it. But I mean, I think you guys should try and get an idea for what happens in nebulas. And So I'm going to head to the nebula. And just, just for the sake of you guys, the viewers, you can see what's up with the nebulas. The slugs that live in this nebula field are a leisure-centered civilization. Everything in slug life is done in the pursuit of more currency and more time in which to spend it on extravagant ventures. This, inevitably, leads to much treachery in open space. Ooh, treachery. Okay, so let's take a look at upgrading. Um, let's see what we have here, guys. We can upgrade quite a few things. Let's... um. I want to upgrade the door system. I kind of want to upgrade the med bay and that shit too. You know, it's, it's for now. I'm not going to upgrade anything. Wait till we get a little more scrap. Maybe find a store. Who knows what we can buy? So let's uh, 
Let's uh, head around this nebula and see what we can find. You intercept comm chatter from an incoming Manta ship. Look, this ship appears not to be owned by the swishy ones. Maybe they won't smell so bad when we cut them open. Oh, that's gross. They move in on your position. Okay, so Manta's control ship. I'm not sure what that weapon is. I think it's like a double laser kind of thing. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Another laser here. So I'm not too too worried about their uh, their weapons. Let's um. Let us. Let's we'll just charge it up and attack their shields. Oh, intruders alert! I should have seen that coming. Oh, and they're intruding on our captain. Let's uh. Let's get bears out of there. And let's um. See if maybe I can lead them around the ship. Oh, take that? No, they want to take that out. All right, security officer, do your job, and also might as well get uh, might as well get scoops in there too. In the meantime, let's um, I think I already targeted the first la first laser, but let's do it again. All right, our mantis buddies are taking them out. Matt's taking some damage, though. I might I might have him retreat. Yeah, I'm gonna have him retreat. Scoops is taking damage too, so let's get him the hell out of there. Ascendant Bears and Manta and uh, Maria have to finish them off. Oh shit, look at that. They just took out their own crew members. Alright, let's uh send Maria back to her post. Let's send bears in there to fix that, as well as uh, we'll just send bears in there for now to fix that. Watch Bear's health. Uh, in the meantime, let's get back on pelting these guys' shields. Actually, I'm gonna hit him, hit him with a rocket first. It missed. Of course it missed. Why would it, why would it hit? That would be too fucking easy. Alright, so we damaged our shields. Caused a little breach there. That's cool. How's Bear's doing? Bear's is doing okay for now. Um, looks like he's getting that fixed up slowly but surely. Alright, their shields are toast, but what do they fire at us? Oh, that is a missile. Okay, jeez Louise. Uh, let's get scoops oops, let's get scoops back in there and uh let's get uh, Charlie to help fight those fires. Also we might as well get Matt in there to help. And uh yeah, shit, all our weapons are down. Um this could be problematic. As soon as that fire, I'm gonna get Maria in here to help out too. Come on, guys. Okay, everyone's taking their own, taking part in that. Oh god, please don't hit. Oh good. Okay, they didn't. Oh, I'm taking damage, but they, at least they didn't. Uh, they're not uh, destroying my weapons here. Okay, let's get um, get my laser back online, and as well, or my missile and my laser back online. Let's let them charge up. Uh, as soon as the missile's online, I want to be hitting their weapons. I mean, soon, yeah, the missile. And uh, let's send everybody back to their posts. Um, shit. Okay. Let's see, Maria. Head back to your post. Close those doors up. Um, Jesus. Okay, their weapons are their missile launchers down, which is good enough for now. Um, and our weapons are back online. Uh, let's get you back to your post, and let's get these guys. Oh shit, Maria's taking some damage. Let's get her. Jesus, this is a fight if I ever saw one. Let's um Okay, cool, working on their shields there. Okay, nice. We gotta take care of so now we can put a little bit of focus in our own ship. We got one fuel, one drone part, and forty seven scrap. Oh, jeez, Louise. All right, let's get um, Maria. You go back and you fix your stuff. Uh, is that Matt? You go back to your 
post, you go back to your post. And bars, you go, you can help Maria. And then both of you can get healed up. And it's taking a little bit to fix those shields. There's, there was a lot of shields to fix. I really should have used my defense drone there. Stupid am I. Let's um let's take a look at what we can do here. It costs 180 to upgrade shields. So I think I'll save up for that next. Uh so shields are fully upgraded or not upgraded, fully uh back online. So let's heal these guys up, send them back to their posts, and move out of here. Okay. Alright. Jeez, that was took a lot of hull damage there. Oh, but luckily there's a store right here. Awesome. There's uh, only one other ship at this beacon, and it is showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. Alrighty, so let's see what we got. They have a system repair drone, which um, I've actually tried before. To be honest, they're not much better. They're they're slower than crew member to to respond to uh, to issues, and they're not much faster at repairing than crew members. So I don't know. But they do have a defense drone, Mark II, and it can shoot down lasers as well. Requires four power though. Jesus. I might hold off on that. I might come back to that at some point. For now, let's fix everything up. Uh, Jesus, I didn't even realize how low we're running on fuel. Let's uh, stock up on fuel. And... Yeah, for now, I think that's what I'm going to leave that at. I think, yeah. Actually, can I sell anything? Um... Hmm. I'm not a big fan of the beam weapons. So I think I'm going to sell that. Um, also, I'm not a big fan of the ion weapons. Mind you, mm, uh, you know, I'll hold on to that, but yeah. For now, I'm just going to leave that. Um, crew teleporter. Why would I want to send crew over to a ship? I mean, like they could die like that, so I don't know. Let's make another jump and uh, see what we got. Over here. Direct attacks are not preferred by the slugs, but of the three you see at this beacon, one has the brass to make your move on your position. Alright, and oh, let's see, this guy's got some friggin' weapons, so. Let's uh, take out their weapons, because they, they seem to have quite the armament there. Looks like a. I don't even know what that is. Looks like some sort of it's either a beam weapon or something. I don't know. All I know is I don't want to be hit by it. So. All right, damage their, their uh, weapons there. Let's see if we can continue to damage them. Um, yeah, beam weapon. Cool. Oh, they lost shields there. <laughs> Maybe they're redirecting power? Uh, I find out. You have bested us. Will you accept what is in our stores in exchange for our lives? <laughs> I think they have a lisp. It's not nice to make fun of people with lisps. Um... What is in our stores? See, they're not... You know, I'm curious. For this one time, I'm gonna let them live and see what they have to offer because I I'm actually quite curious. It's not showing me what they're gonna give them, so I'm, I'm curious to see what I'll get. So let's let them live. Ugh, we got crap. They transfer a meager amount of material. Meager indeed. <laughs> there, now keep your word. So we got two missiles, one drone part, 31 scrap. Nothing that special. Damn. 
Oh well though. Um, I think that's it for this episode, guys. So, uh, as always, like if you like, it. Uh, if you love it, favorite it, and uh, if you want to see more, subscribe. Comments are always welcome. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching my video. Uh, stay tuned for part seven. So, it's been Gord, and you guys take it easy out there.